All right, we do have breaking news. We are following a pursuit here that started on the 101 around 1145. A very fast driver here. It does appear this is East Los Angeles. Good afternoon. Alongside Lou Parker, I'm Mark Mester. Mark Kona is live in Sky 5 HD. And Mark, this driver is moving erratically. Yeah, driving extremely erratically here, guys. And uh, we are just uh, south of the 5 freeway here, and he has just made a northbound turn off of uh, close to Washington Boulevard is where we are here. And he's making a way, he's making his way back up towards the 5 freeway where he might uh, come up on Olympic Boulevard here. Uh, we understand this may be a stolen vehicle suspect. We're not quite sure at this point. He's just now coming up on uh, the bridge eastbound on Olympic here from the 5 freeway and uh, we just pulled up on this we're just kind of getting our bearings here where we are is in East LA just on the uh, west side of the 710 freeway in fact eastbound he is just gonna cross underneath the 710 freeway right there that's the 710 freeway uh, right close to the fire there again eastbound on Olympic Boulevard driving at an extremely high rate of speed if you tilt up rich if you tilt up uh, bear with us just a second here Hang on here, guys. Hang on here, guys. All right, if you're just joining us, this is just a pursuit left, uh, that is happening in East Los Angeles. We've watched the driver uh, go on side streets, also on freeways at one point, uh, pushing himself and the vehicle through uh, between an 18-wheeler and another vehicle, driving uncontrollably at some point, crossing over like three lanes yeah. onto an exit and just going straight through intersections as well. Just one of many felonies that we saw on camera. We saw him He's blow uh, through several stop right, signs as well. Mark Kono, right. I do believe, North is speaking with some of the air traffic controllers in the nearby area. Right Again, this is there, East Los Angeles. There. And we what go. we're doing right now is we work to find exactly where this driver is. Mark Kono has it on the screen right there. And Mark, if we have you again, uh, again, we see these whoa, chases whoa, often, whoa, but this driver... This guy. Oh my gosh, he's going to lose it. He's going to lose it. He's got slower traffic coming up. He just took the off-ramp here, just took the off-ramp at uh, what I believe to be Whittier Boulevard here. We'll try and get some confirmation of that. He's trying to squeeze through these two cars here. He is unable to. Is he going to try and force these guys out of the way? We saw him northbound on the 710 freeway. He just passed over uh, the 60 freeway here and uh, is just doing uh, some very dangerous things. In fact, uh, it's going to be Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez that he just exited here, and he is trying to make his way around these cars that were also on the off-ramp here. So, here we go. Here we go. We're just going to be coming uh, eastbound. Now, he's going to continue eastbound off the freeway exit here, and he's going to put himself into East L.A. proper. He is now just now coming up on uh, what I believe to be Mon believed to be Monterey Pass Road, Monterey Pass Road, where he has turned northbound northbound and now he is uh, again eastbound eastbound so this is going to put him on Cesar Chavez uh, Cesar Chavez Avenue here and uh, he is now eastbound off of uh, Monterey Pass Road heading through East LA at this point here so uh, you know this uh, pursuit has been going on for probably about the past 20 minutes or so a little bit before 12 noon the LAPD um, is the airship ahead as well as ground units who are following this guy and look at the things that this guy is actually doing to try and avoid uh, being caught here so uh, from eastbound Cesar Chavez to uh, northbound oh my god this guy very may well lose it uh, in traffic here the the maneuvers that uh, he is undertaking here very dangerous and at very high rates of speed he is uh, just doing some pretty uh, pretty radical things here and uh, who knows how long this may last but uh, this is going to be back onto Monterey Pass Road Monterey Pass road just about a quarter mile ahead of him is going to start to veer off to the right and that is kind of the turn that he's starting to take right now. We're in a good position to see him and uh, traffic ahead here. Traffic ahead of him is going to be fairly light. It's just a couple of lanes on each uh, direction of the roadway there, but uh, just moving ahead. It's going to be fairly light traffic. He will be able to negotiate this uh, as he uh, as he needs to, but uh, unsure of uh, how many occupants are inside the vehicle, whether or not it's male or female for that uh, for that matter, but, uh, you know, I've been referring to this as a male, but uh, it could be a female for all we know, just driving uh, very erratically and an extremely high rate of speed. Now, to me, that looks like a Honda. I'm not quite sure. To me, that looks like a Honda Accord northbound on Monterey Pass Road. And uh, we're now kind of coming up on uh, the San Gabriel Valley here. This guy not letting up, not letting up here, driving extremely fast. The closest unit is going to be, uh, well, several car lengths behind him, probably half a block behind him at this point. The LAPD airship still monitoring this pursuit from above and as this guy comes off of Monterey Pass Road he's going to be coming up on a little bit of a bottleneck
back uh, in terms of a transition here, and he's going to have a couple of vehicles ahead of him. And so uh, let's see what he does. He's just going to be coming up on Garvey Avenue. Now, Garvey Avenue from uh, essentially Fremont, uh, now eastbound. Okay, thank you. Uh, eastbound now on Garvey, now heading in towards, uh, say, the San Gabriel Valley, and he's coming up on an intersection with stopped cars, cross traffic, way making his way. All right, it does uh, appear we, no uh, we about, still have time uh, for this has no qualms about uh, going fast and driving highly uh, erratically here coming up on cross traffic oh no oh no here we go whoa <sighs> okay guys you're seeing it here it's a very dangerous situation that we're uh, dealing with here with this uh, uh, pursuit suspect and he's now into slower traffic trying to make his way through he's got a work van in front of him uh, is he going to try and push these guys out of the way he's just going to wait it out and uh, there he goes now eastbound again guys yeah, Mark, it looks like he's put his window down, or she has, they've put the window down now. Uh, they've got these extremely dark tinted uh, windows on this vehicle that we believe is a Honda Accord. Wow, and now he's going on the opposite side of the road in oh the opposite boy. Oh direction. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wrong lane to traffic. That is probably that the 10th vehicle that he's hit so far. Just since and we've now been on there. he's on Garvey Avenue eastbound, just passing Garfield, and he's going to be going northbound, northbound. It looks like we do have a passenger here, guys. Looks like we do have a passenger. He's Garfield, northbound. So he's sticking to some major streets, uh, which may or not may or may not indicate uh, knowledge of the local area here. If you stick on if you stick to the major streets, you might assume that uh, perhaps he might not know the area, and so that uh, for that reason he kind of stays on the majors. But uh, again, northbound, he's going to have an opportunity to join the uh, 10 freeway in about one block and a half at this point. Look at this guy. My goodness. In and out. Wrong uh, wrong way of traffic here. And now he's going to be going over to the 10 freeway. And he's got, whoa, slow down, buddy. Slow down. Onto the right shoulder. Onto the right shoulder. And he's got slower cars ahead. Essentially, what he's trying to do is get on the 10 freeway going eastbound. And he is uh, doing that, essentially, here uh, by utilizing that right shoulder. Now, uh, again, just uh, just some really wild maneuvers that we're seeing here. The LAPD, the closest cruiser, is uh, well behind him at this point. The LAPD airship staying uh, right on top of him at this point here. Now, he's not. Okay, what's going on here? Does he have a situation? Okay. Eastbound 10 uh, will be coming up on New Avenue here shortly, so into the San Gabriel Valley. He's not driving necessarily too fast. I wonder uh, if his vehicle is disabled or something that is not uh, allowing him to accelerate uh, as he needs to. He's making his way over to the middle lanes and now back to the slow lanes of traffic. It looks like he may have a situation going on here where his vehicle might uh, might be quitting on him. And so there it is. The door's open. He's going to be running. He's going to jump over the fence, over the wall, and into the neighborhood. And Mark, do you believe that right there is you. a passenger in the car as well? It's sure. We sure thought that we saw a passenger. And so now, okay, is this guy on the campus of Keppel? Okay, he's on the campus of uh Keppel, I believe, in the parking lot. Okay, so this is going to be a dangerous situation here. Let's get a, as good a look as we can of this guy here. He's going to, oh my gosh, is he? I think he's on the campus. And students in the courtyard, students in the courtyard. Yeah, it's a high school, it's, a, it's Keppel. Okay, hang on guys, let me get in here, let me get in here. See if you can spot him. He's on the grounds, he's on the grounds with students. It looks like, as Mark was saying right there, it looks like he ran onto the campus of a local high school, which is interesting, Lou, because we saw something rather similar in Old Pasadena last night where officers were pursuing a suspect and that apparently four suspects got away by running, to in, uh, running away into a parking garage and we're seeing very similar behavior here in San Gabriel. And Mark, you, you were referencing what high school this is. Do you know exactly what it is? Yeah, this is going to be Mark Keppel, Mark Keppel High School, guys, and uh, it looks like he ran onto the campus here. Whether he's in that uh, front uh, administrative uh, type building, uh, I don't know. It didn't seem like he came out of it at this point. The students are still kind of milling about, uh, kind of in the courtyard. Uh, however, I would have to think that with the LAPD overhead, uh, we can certainly uh, assume that the uh, the police department is going to be uh, coming into the scene here, and I can tell you that uh, on the south side southwest corner of the school okay hang tight hang tight mark as you're gathering your information we do know that this high school is located in the 500 block of east hellman it does appear is that the correct mark keppel high school that southwest we're talking about? Uh, okay now, now we have students, students just running. running i think they're 
I think they're running uh, because they're hearing about the police activity, not fully aware, uh, not fully aware of what's going on here. But we have kind of a little bit of panic happening here, mm -hmm. and that's certainly not a good thing. But uh, oh, students boy. kind of panicking. They see the helicopters above. They see the police helicopter circling just three to four hundred feet above, and they're just kind of freaking out at this point. And mm -hmm. okay, come outside the campus here, Rich. Come outside the campus. Cut, tilt down. Oh, this is such an unfortunate situation. Those poor kids must be Guys, terrified. Guys, we're trying to spot where they are, are uh, apparently taking them into custody here. Okay, uh, Rich, tilt down. Tilt down and come to the right. Okay. All right, we are okay. hearing uh, that the suspect has been taken into custody. Um, it's unclear exactly where oh, that's happening. Oh, there right here. Go. Okay. Um, so okay, they did. so this is certainly some good news. My goodness, suspect in custody, several officers uh, taking this guy down. My goodness. Over on the southwest corner of the campus here, and, uh, you know, the pandemonium that the students just experienced right now, the adrenaline rush oh. after hearing uh, and seeing the police activity, all the helicopters above, sirens, lights, helicopters. It's just uh, probably just a, a very just frightening situation. And so, uh, wow, this uh, ended very, very uh, well, all things considered, with this guy taken into custody. I believe this to be a stolen vehicle suspect here again on the southwest corner of Mark Keppel High School is where we are. And, uh, again, this guy is... Uh, is in custody now, and that is certainly some good news. Mark, uh, so unfortunate to see those kids run. Um, so many shootings have been happening lately, and um, so great to, to see the, this guy in custody. When we did see the car initially, though, you had mentioned a passenger, so uh, maybe the, the police officers are dealing with the vehicle uh, on the other side of the fence on the freeway uh, where his car, which we still don't know what happened to the car because he was going 100 plus for a long time, but maybe a flat tire, maybe he ran out of gas, uh, but he was disabled and had to get out of that car and run. And if you're just joining us, that suspect that you see in handcuffs right there being escorted by two police officers, we do believe LAPD, that suspect was in a vehicle just a short time ago on the 10 freeway. We do believe he was heading eastbound, mm -hmm. jumped out of the vehicle, jumped over a fence, then found his way onto Mark Keppel High School, which is in Alhambra. Frightening students, uh, as we saw in those live images before, so many of those students running in what appeared to be running for their lives, either into the building or away from the scene. But the good news is... Lou is just referencing right there. This suspect is now in handcuffs, just where he should be. And he, when he was driving on the freeway and also on side streets, super erratically, just uh, at some point hitting. He, we probably saw him hit at least seven vehicles, uh, trying to bump cars out of the way. He pinned himself and tried to push through an 18-wheeler and another car on the freeway. Very dangerous. So great that he is off the roads this afternoon, um, in custody now, and and headed wow. down. Wow. Okay, uh, guys. Here we go. To be charged. Mark, yeah, and something else to note here, guys, as they have taken him into custody here, if you're on the campus of Keppel High School, if you're sitting in your classroom here watching TV, watching what's going on here, everything is going to be okay. We had a stolen vehicle suspect uh, drive his car onto the 10 freeway here, his car somehow disabled, uh, onto, the, onto the side of the freeway right next to your school. He jumped over the wall into the parking lot, but the, the police are here, and they've got this guy in custody, so everything is going to be okay if you are watching over here at Mark Keppel High School. Everything's fine. Lots of police on campus. Everything is fine. This pursuit suspect is now in custody. Everything's going to be fine. All right, Mark, thank you so much for that, and uh, we appreciate you uh, sticking with us with this uh, pursuit this afternoon. Of course, we have the 1 o'clock news coming up in uh, a little over 30 minutes. We'll have additional information on this, plus uh, breaking news, and also your possibly wet weekend forecast. We'll see you guys here at 1 o'clock. All right, we do have breaking news. We are following a pursuit here that started on the 101 around 1145. A very fast driver here. It does appear this is East Los Angeles. Good afternoon. Alongside Lou Parker, I'm Mark Mester. Mark Kona is live in Sky 5 HD. And Mark, this driver is moving erratically. Yeah, driving extremely erratically here, guys. And uh, we are just uh, south of the 5 Freeway here, and he has just made a northbound turn off of uh, close to Washington Boulevard is where we are here. And he's making a way, he's making his way back up towards the 5 Freeway where he might uh, come up on Olympic Boulevard here. Uh, we understand this may be a stolen vehicle suspect. We're not quite sure at this point. He's just now coming up on uh, the bridge eastbound on Olympic here from the 5 freeway and uh, we just pulled up on this we're just kind of getting our bearings here where we are is in East LA just on the uh, west side of the 710 freeway in fact eastbound he is just gonna cross underneath 
the 710 freeway right there. That's the 710 freeway uh, right close to the fire there. Again, eastbound on Olympic Boulevard, driving at an extremely high rate of speed. If you tilt up, Rich, if you tilt up, uh, bear with us just a second here. Hang on here, guys. Hang on here, guys. All right, if you're just joining us, this is just a pursuit left, uh, that is happening in East Los Angeles. We've watched the driver uh, go on side streets, also on freeways at one point, uh, pushing himself and the vehicle through uh, between an 18-wheeler and another vehicle, driving uncontrollably at some point, crossing over like three lanes yeah. onto an exit and just going straight through intersections as well. Just one of many felonies that we saw on camera. We saw him He's blow through uh, several uh, stop signs right, as well. Mark right. Crono, I do believe, North is speaking with some of the air traffic the controllers in the nearby the area. Right but again, this is there, East Los Angeles. There. And there we what go. we're doing right now is we work to find exactly where this driver is. Mark Crono has it on the screen right there. And Mark, if we have you again, uh, again, we see these whoa, chases whoa, often, whoa, but this driver... This guy. Oh, my gosh, he's going to lose it. He's going to lose it. He's got slower traffic coming up. He just took the off-ramp here, just took the off-ramp at uh, what I believe to be Whittier Boulevard here. We'll try and get some confirmation of that. He's trying to squeeze through these two cars here. He is unable to. Is he going to try and force these guys out of the way? We saw him northbound on the 710 freeway. He just passed over uh, the 60 freeway here and uh, is just doing uh, some very dangerous things. In fact, uh, it's going to be Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez that he just exited here, and he is trying to make his way around these cars that were also on the off-ramp here. So, here we go. Here we go. We're just going to be coming uh, eastbound. Now, he's going to continue eastbound off the freeway exit here, and he's going to put himself into East L.A. proper. He is now just now coming up on uh, what I believe to be Mon believed to be Monterey Pass Road, Monterey Pass Road, where he has turned northbound northbound and now he is uh, again eastbound eastbound so this is going to put him on Cesar Chavez uh, Cesar Chavez Avenue here and uh, he is now eastbound off of uh, Monterey Pass Road heading through East LA at this point here so uh, you know this uh, pursuit has been going on for probably about the past 20 minutes or so a little bit before 12 noon the LAPD um, is the airship ahead as well as ground units who are following this guy and look at the things that this guy is actually doing to try and avoid uh, being caught here so uh, from eastbound Cesar Chavez to uh, northbound oh my god this guy very may well lose it uh, in traffic here the the maneuvers that uh, he is undertaking here very dangerous and at very high rates of speed he is uh, just doing some pretty uh, pretty radical things here and uh, who knows how long this may last but uh, this is going to be back onto Monterey Pass Road Monterey Pass road just about a quarter mile ahead of him is going to start to veer off to the right and that is kind of the turn that he's starting to take right now. We're in a good position to see him and uh, traffic ahead here. Traffic ahead of him is going to be fairly light. It's just a couple of lanes on each uh, direction.